Sing Out Tarot here with the monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of September 2018. Shout out to my auntie, my mother, who are all Aries who watch my channel uh, diligently. They continue to watch me and support me, and I really appreciate that. So hopefully there's some good news for you guys. Uh, August was really beautiful for the sign of Aries. Um, you guys had a lot of new loves coming in. You got into new relationships. And hopefully you kept up that energy and you kept it going while you're in the middle of this vertex, okay? Because you are going through a vertex. So let's see what's happening. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for the sign of Aries, sun, moon, and rising for the month of September 2018? Show me Aries. I'm doing a nine card spread with a layover so all together it'll be 18 cards if I don't hit your story with the first reading then I'm sure that it'll come out in the second one if not then maybe I'm just not the reader for you sorry I don't have your message this month okay but I try to hit everybody's story but you could always book me for a personal reading okay so let's see what's going on. Six of Cups. The King of Pentacles. I told you, Aries, a lot of you are connected to Capricorn, Taurus, and the Moon card. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. For a lot of you, this is a life partner, um, a long-term soulmate, uh, you know, a past life soulmate that you're with, the magician. Oh, excuse me. You have the Ten of Wands, the Empress, and the Three of Cups. The overall energy for the sign of Aries is the Seven of Pentacles. Aries, I need you to be careful because there's pregnancy in this month, okay? So, uh, for those of you that are not on birth control, um, you want to be very careful because I see you having a child uh, by the sign of Aries, especially if it is, you already have one, this could be your second child this month, okay? So, be very careful. Um, along with you being in the middle of the vertex, because this is a fire sign vertex, so... Forgive me, guys. It's hot as fuck in this damn house. I am ready to pass out all the way. And I got air conditioners on. I'm still hot. Okay, so anyway, with this vertex, it's all about fire signs. And then we have, like, Aquarius that's involved. And we also have water signs that are involved. Um, and with the sign of Capricorn, for a lot of you, you are twin flames or life partners. And you're triggering on the axis of um, Capricorn. Okay, so... Um, those Capricorns that you have life partnerships with, twin flames, it looks like there's some energy that's going to take place this month, okay? Especially when we come to pregnancy. Um, if you are an Aries and you are coupled with the sign of Capricorn and you're not on birth control, I need you to be careful because I don't want you coming back to me saying, Bella, bitch, you didn't warn us. Yes, I, I'm warning you. It is in here this month. Pregnancy is all over the sign of Aries. Okay? So, uh, looking at this reading, it kind of represents to me that, you know, you're with somebody that is a past life partner. Um, very important soulmate. Very important soul connection. Okay? With the moon card being there, it kind of represents that a lot of you may still be a little bit immature. And spirit could be using babies as a way to mature you out or grow you up pretty fast, okay? Also, it kind of represents to me that there's still a lot of you that don't recognize that you're with your twin flame or life partner, okay? Um, so a lot of work still needs to take place, okay? With this Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician, this also can justify that if you have a twin, Aries, and your twin happens to be Capricorn, or your twin happens to be in the sign of water. It's a possibility that it's not you that's getting pregnant, but it is your twin that may have someone else pregnant if it's a male, or that may be pregnant if it's a female, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles being there and all these cards kind of signifying pregnancy, also with the Empress here, um, you might need to watch out for that energy as well. I kind of get the sense that um, for 
those of you that are not back in union with your twins, this may be a very hard month for you because you have to watch your twin actually get pregnant or um, your twin impregnate someone else. So this is going to, you know, because this is behind the scenes, you can't really see what's going on. It's really going to play with your intelligence a little bit. You may start feeling like I was wrong. That person was never my twin. Um, there's no fucking way. They got this other person pregnant. They got married recently. You know, I get a lot of people that call me in and say, you know, Bella, he got married. You told me he was my twin flame, but he got married. So what, Linda? Okay. He still has to live life and you still have to live life. Okay. And until you are mature, until you have gotten to the end of your life where you totally understand yourself, it's going to be a while before you actually get into union, okay? I try to explain to you guys that you have so many people on YouTube that romanticize twin flames and life partners. I watch it all the time, you know. Somebody tells you, oh, I, you know, I'm with my twin. This is my twin flame. We've already had sex and all this bullshit. Don't believe them, okay? And and to, to make it even easier for you, just ask them what's the purpose of twin, okay? Let's see what they say to you. All right, because every twin knows the purpose of their connection, and it's not romanticized at all. Okay, it's not going to be that. Oh, we made love, and he disappeared. I haven't seen him. He's the runner. I'm the chaser. All that. Come on, that shit has nothing to do with it. Okay, I'm just keeping a 100. People won't mad at me. Fuck it, I don't care. I'm here to run the truth to you. Okay, twins are deities. Twins are teachers. These are people that you can trust. Because they have went through a very extensive um, training, okay, before they even got there, all right? And even twins, actual twins that you're actually talking to, have been tricked numerous times, okay? They've been with karmic soulmates and actual soulmates and felt like they were their twin, okay? So, we know how it looks, long story short. We know exactly how it looks, okay? And sometimes it can, you know, very much so confuse you. Um, also, a life partner um, will confuse you as well. The difference between a life partner and a twin is if you've already been with this person, you've already had sex with this individual, you were in a relationship for three months, he broke up with you, cheated on you, got with somebody else, and it's probably a life partner. It's not a twin. Those are energies that twins don't deal with, okay? We don't deal with, oh, we got together and then we broke up. Spirit is not making any mistakes, okay? So if somebody's telling you that bullshit, then you, you know that they're full of shit. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> they're full of shit. Oh, you had sex with him? Oh, you ain't seen him in three months? Oh, you got together? and then he cheats on you or he whoops your ass or he does oh, okay that's not a fucking twin don't let people tell you anything okay twins this is their last lifetime so a lot of them are very intelligent and a lot of them knows already about the entire design not just about twins but I'm speaking the entire design when it comes to um, spirituality existence you know how do we exist where do we come from you know, how does twins look across all time and space? What does it look like in other dimensions? Twins will be able to tell you this. If they're not able to tell you this, then chances are they're probably not a real twin. So you have to be careful with that. Anyway, um, why am I saying all this? Because Aries, last year in 2017, there was a vertex that came around for the sign of Aries. A lot of them were getting with their twin flames, okay? As well as we had a collab that happened with a lot of life partners. A life partnership almost mirrors a twin. What I mean is, it's sort of like the on and off sort of energy that happens between life partners. The only difference, remember what I said, is that you would have had sex with this person. With a life partner, you've slept with them, okay? You've been with them numerous times. Whereas a twin, you've never crossed that line, no matter how much you try. Spirit is not going to make a, a mistake and give you sexual intercourse because sexual intercourse brings on a number... Oh, I got indigestion so bad, guys. It's probably just fucking brandy I'm drinking. I'm going to just throw it out there and be honest. Twins, um, sexual intercourse brings on another set of emotions that can prove to be difficult. Spirit is not playing with this thing, okay? They don't give a fuck about how much you're trying to look like you're the shit because you got a twin. First of all, this twin shit is not even fun, okay? So kudos to the bitch that told you this shit is fun because this is terrible. I would take a soulmate over a fucking twin any day. It's, it's hard. There's a lot of pressure on you. There's also a lot of pressure that comes from the world. Twins are sacrifice, okay? So if you find yourself you know, if you look at your friends and you see that they all got into relationships, they seem to be happy, they're getting married to soulmates and shit like that. 
and then you're the one they come to for relationship advice. Meanwhile, you've been single for 10, 15 fucking years, okay? You got this twin that you see every fucking day that you never had a chance to even have sex with. You don't understand what the fuck is going on, and chances are you're probably a twin, okay? Twins are not allowed to do exactly what a soulmate or a life partner or anything like that is able to do. You know, their life doesn't belong to them alone. Their life is pretty much orchestrated. So it's kind of like they're fucking robots to teach the world about existence and about understanding relationship. Not necessarily just romantic, but relationship as a whole. Okay? So... I feel like a lot of you are going into, with this vertex for the sign of Aries, a lot of you are going to be standing on the sidelines, watching your twins, watching your life partners create children, um, get back with baby mamas, get into relationships. You're going to be sitting on the sidelines watching this. And when you see this, it may make you a little discouraged, okay? So you may start to think, you know what, this is not my fucking twin. There's no way, okay? A lot of people don't believe that they have a twin when they actually indeed do because it doesn't sound like something that you may have heard on YouTube. Please don't listen to people on YouTube. Some of these motherfuckers is batshit crazy. Okay, I'm just going to throw it out there. Please don't listen to nobody that is telling you that they got a fucking twin flame and they're runners and chasers and, you know, they made love to their twin that was like the stars and everything in line and they've never been in that situation before. Come on. I mean, I've heard that a thousand times, okay? But most real twins, um, the situation is very similar. You know, it's usually a very long time of knowing the individual, maybe knowing them since they were children and never having the opportunity to be even caught up alone or to even cross those boundaries because spirit is not going to make a mis mistake with that. You know how hard it is to hold on to a motherfucker that you've already fucked? <laughs> if I would have already fucked my twin, there's no way in hell you would even hear Bella even considering or even talking about Sorry, guys. Somebody text me. Okay, Linda. <laughs> anyway, um, you wouldn't even hear me talking about no fucking twin. You know, I would be like, whatever, do you, motherfucker. I wouldn't even be worried, okay? Because I've already had that person. And the struggle between twins is so difficult that there's no way in hell that you would hold on after you've already been exposed, okay? So, that's my message for the first part, okay? Watching your twin, watching your life partner... Um, give birth, get into new relationships, go back to baby mamas. Your worst fears come into life, and you may even feel as if this person is not supposed to be with you. You know, you may feel like you got it wrong, okay? Especially if your Aries and your twin or life partner happens to fall in the sign of Capricorn, okay? So let's see what the second message brings. The Six of Pentacles. This is karmic justice. This is karmic energy. Um, when I see that a lot of times, I know that there is a karmic um, phase that's taking place. So those of you that are watching your twins or your life partners, just know that they're hooking up with karmic partners and they're clearing up some of the karmic energy that may have taken place back when you guys, you and them, were actual soulmates. Okay? The next card we have is the Empress. Remember I told you about the baby situation. The next one is the Knight of Cups. See, this is them returning to a baby's mother or also just recently having children or you have to watch them go back to an ex or something like that, okay? Just remember what I said. If you follow what I say, I'll tell you what's going on with the energy. The Hierophant. Also, there's a possibility that these people can get married, but this is um, higher hierarchy love, okay, or hierarchy rulership, okay? So this would be like your spirit guides putting the rule in place. We need to collect our karmic energy that this person, such and such, this Capricorn made uh, with this Aries back in 1920 or whenever the fuck they were last here, okay? So that's what that stands for. The next card, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This is representing the Vertex, and that's exactly where you guys are, Aries, okay? So a lot of you are in the Vertex. I've already warned you about that. 
So these are events and changes that are out of your control, but it's there for your goodness, for it to all come together for the greater good of you. Also, um, it could be also raising the vibration of your twin or your life partner. So it's kind of like growing them up and maturing them. You ever wonder how you could be so mature, you could be spiritually in tune and your partner's not? Well, this is an experience that they're about to go through that has the potential to raise them up. Remember, I often tell you guys, when you see the Hierophant, know that there is some sort of teaching or training that is in place, something that you have no control over, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune is the card of fate or destiny or something that you don't have the ability to change, but it changes on its own, okay? The next card we have is the Tower. This is just representing that things may seem to fall apart on you, okay? So we're going to break these couple down. We're going to break this twin flame down to the truth, okay? We want them to have unconditional love. When someone asks you what is unconditional love, a lot of times, most of us love from a conditional standpoint. I love him until he cheats on me. I love him as long as he calls me, as long as he does what I want him to do, okay? But when it comes down to twin flames, twin flames love unconditionally. No matter if, you know, you find out your twin is gay and your twin likes men and he's a man. Um, no matter if you find out if your twin has cheated on you with your fucking sister or your your brother your mother whatever okay this is love unconditionally this is what they're trying to pull out of you so eventually when you do go into union you're not going to have none of those programmable um entities on you meaning you know where you're worrying about controlling that person jealousy envy all that shit has to die okay the Ace of Swords, this is about truth and clarity, okay? And it's coupled with the Karmic card. It's, well, both of them are Karmic cards. But it's about truth and clarity and getting real with who you're dealing with, okay? Knowing the truth about who you are. Then we have the Eight of Cups. Some of you are going to walk away. Some of you are going to be like, you know what? This was never my twin flame. This was never my life partner. And then there's going to be those of you that's going to realize that you have to let go in order for this person to grow up. Okay, some of you want to lose the battle because the way it's going to play out in the physical is that this person left you for the baby mama or, or especially life partners. This is when it comes to life partners as well as soulmates, okay? This person will just pick up and leave you and go back to the ex, go back to the baby mama, go back to that sort of situation, okay? So you're going to lose at that. You're going to feel like you lost at that. So your emotions, everything you put into it, you're going to have to walk away. But remember what I said. It's only walking away so that you can get to the truth of the feeling that you feel or possess for this person. Okay? We have the five of wands. This is competition. A lot of you are going to feel like, I can't compete with that. I don't have any children with this person. This person has a child with that individual. So how am I going to compete with the fact that he has a kid with her? I don't have no children with him or her. The last card is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles on the Seven of Pentacles. This just represents time. This is the time that it takes for life partnerships and twin flames to come together. It will bear fruit. This is a promise. This is a promise from spirit. We got you. We know that it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy. Those of you that are listening to people that's telling you they're with their twin flame and they're 22, 33, 34, 35. Fuck no. No, Linda. This when you come in union, this is the end of your life, okay? So, yes, two twins can come together at 33 years old. But if they come together at 33, this person would already have to be married. They have their children already. They can't have no more children. Um, and they've experienced pretty much everything that they could possibly experience in life. They are teachers. They're able to teach you because they have a lot of different experiences at 33. Can it happen at 33? Absolutely. If you're done with your lifespan, if you're done with, you know, uh, playing around and, and living with, with games and shit like that, if you're done with that, then absolutely, you can come together at 33. But you're going to know whether you're talking to a real twin. Real twins are not going to be jealous. Oh, this motherfucker stayed out all night. Oh, I don't trust them. Oh, let me call a psychic to find out if my twin flame is cheating on me. Fuck. What? What? Who taught you that? No, 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 no. Twins are not going to do that. Okay? Twins are going to have it together. They're not going to worry about cheating because they already know this is the most important connection that could ever have been put together. Okay? There is nothing greater than this. So I don't have to worry about the girl that he slept with last night. He needs that girl in order to grow. I need her. I hired her to help him to mature. Twins know that. Okay? I love you much. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
hit your notification button. If it's not you that's going through this, but somebody else is going through this and they need to understand where they're at, share this video with them, okay? If you recommend anybody to me, make sure they bring me your name, okay? So that you can get your discounted reading from sending me someone, okay? If you would like to hook up with me for a personal reading, anything under twin flames, life partnerships, or even divine partnerships in context of finding out who is your divine partner, that is under spiritual analysis reading, okay? So, you have to book a spiritual analysis reading, and it usually takes about an hour, hour and a half, okay? It's an hour plus. So, I usually run over an hour, hour and a half, okay, with the hour plus, okay? But other than that, if you need me, you need a fly on the wall, you're going through some problems, you want to understand your situation, hit me up, allseeingitarot at gmail.com. Never, ever just send me money without contacting me first. Until next month. Thank you, Aries.